In this video, I want to go through how to use Flexbox in Divi versus Flexbox in Elementor. So the first thing we need to do when you open up Elementor, we need to activate this feature. So let me show you where to do that. So you want to come over here to your dashboard, and then you want to go to Elementor, go to Settings, and then over here we have Features. Now the reason why you need to activate it here is because this is still in beta, but of course you're going to be able to get this by default as time goes on. But this is where we need to come in and activate it. So what we need here is Flexbox Container, and as you can see here, it is activated. Whereas with Divi, it's pretty much inside their builder, but there's a different way of achieving this. So let's take a look and see how we can design a basic layout in Elementor. So over here, I've just created a blank page called Flexing. So to start off, you want to click here on this plus button. So these are your containers. So I'm going to start with this one here. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And now let's start adding all our elements. So to do that, you want to click here on this plus button to add an element. So let's start off with a text element. So I'm going to come over here, drag and drop it. Next, we need to add an image. Click here on this plus button, drag and drop it. And now we have our two images. In fact, you know what? I might as well go in and add a proper image. So the image I am going to add in here is this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and select it. Okay, so now that I have these images and this text, in order for me to uh, stack them side by side, I need to click here on this container, and then all I have to do is to change direction, just like that. And now I have my text on one side and my image on one side. Okay, so let's take a look and see how we can achieve the same thing using Divi. All right, so over here, just like I did before, I created a basic page. So let's start off by adding a new row. I'm going to click here on this plus button. I'm going to add our row. And in this row, let's add text module just like that so what we need to do now that we've added our text module is to save this so we're going to come over here hover over this area click on this plus button and this time we need an image module so i'm going to search for it and select it now just what we did with elementor let's go ahead and select our image from our media library and the image i'm going to use is this one right here go ahead and upload my image so there we go. We have our text on the top and our image on the bottom, similar to what we did uh, when we first set things up. Okay, so the difference now is if I need to uh, activate Flexbox on this, I would need to first of all save here. I need to go into my row settings. And then I need to go into this specific column because this is what has all our content. Now that I'm in here, I need to go to advanced. Next, I need to come over here. So I've made all my commands here on a specific page to make it easier for me and save me a lot of time typing them out every time I need them. In fact, I will share this link in the video description below if you're a DV user that wants to use Flexbox. All right, so what we'll need to do first of all is to activate Flexbox. So I'm gonna copy this code here. Back over here, we need to go to custom CSS. Go to the main element and we're gonna paste it. So now we've achieved pretty much what we have over here just by adding that code. But it's not exactly how it is. So what we need actually is the direction. So I'm gonna come over here and then I'm gonna say flex direction row because this is, is how we achieved uh, on the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste it. So now we have a similar layout to this one right here. But you notice that the main difference between the two is in Elementor, we have we can see this visually, whereas in Divi, we have to type it all out. So it's going to take you a bit longer if you're using Divi. But of course, what you're going to achieve is the same. So back over here, this is our direction, as you can see. Now, let's say I want this text centered. So what I'd need to do is to make sure that I've got my container here selected. And then I'll come over here and center it, just like that. Now, over here, if I wanted to achieve the same thing, I would need the actual code, so I'm gonna come over here. And what I need is my align item center. Copy that, come over here, and then I have to go in and paste it. So now I've achieved pretty much what I've achieved over here. Okay, so let's say we want this to be mobile friendly uh, or change the layout in the mobile view. Let's take a look and see how easy it is in Elementor and also how easy it is in Divi. Okay, so, in Elementor, what we need to do is to come over here, choose our tablet. So all I have to do is to click here on 
this to activate my container. And then all I need to do is to change my direction. So this time I'm going to go with vertical, just like that. If I need my image on the top, I can just reverse it. And now my image is on the top and I'm going to do the same on my mobile device. So my image is on the top, my text on the bot is on the bottom, and this is looking great. I don't even need to do anything else because my direction here is set for my mobile devices. Now let's take a look and see how we can achieve this on Divi. Okay, so here on Divi, what we need to do is to hover over here, click on this little icon. So this time, in fact, you know what? We're going to need all this. So I'm gonna copy it, come over here on the tablet, and paste it. Okay, so for my row direction now, this needs to change to column. So I'm gonna highlight that, and then I'm just gonna type column, and notice that this has changed. Now, if I want the image on the top, I just have to click here on column reverse, and now my image is on the top, just like how it is over here. So next, I need to make sure that this is the copy that I need. I'm gonna copy that, come over here to my phone, and I'm gonna paste it as well. And again, we can see here that our image here is on the top, just like it is over here, like that. Now, where things get more difficult is, let's say I want to use even more advanced features like wrapping. So let's take a look and see how we can achieve a different layout using Flex Wrap. So in Elemento, if you want to achieve that, all I need to do is to click on this little icon here, and just like that, I've activated wrapping, okay? Next, I need to come over here to my container. So for my container here, I just, I just need to make sure that this is set to 100%. So I'm gonna set this to percentage and set this to 100. Okay, great. So now that this is 100%, I just now need to go in and give this specific uh, percentages. So I'm gonna start off with my text module. I'm gonna click on this little pencil icon, come over here to style, go to advanced, and then over here, I need to set this to a specific uh, number. So let's say I wanna go with 30. So I'm just gonna get rid of everything in here, like that, and then I'm gonna go with 30%. Great, so we can see here that this is 30%. And then over here, we need to change the image size. I'm gonna click here on this pencil icon. And then all I need to do is to come over here to the width, and then I can set this to a specific number. So I'm gonna go with 70. In fact, I need to go a bit lower. Let's try 68 because there's a gap between. Okay, there we go. And then all I have to do is to make sure that my image fits in this place over here. So I'm gonna come over here, go to my style, and then this just needs to be 100% like that. So when you take a look at this, this is 70%, this is 30%. And now if we come over here to our, our portraits, we can see that this has changed, but I need to go in again and manually add the sizes in this view. So to do that, the top one here just needs to be set to 100 over here. So let's change this to percentage and set this to 100. So we know our image is filling in the whole uh, space. And then over here, we are going to make sure that this is also set to 100. And now we have a perfect layout. So this is how you would achieve this if you were using wrapping. Now let's see how we can achieve this in Divi. So this is going to be a bit more complicated. So let's come over here to our desktop. So first of all, we need to activate wrap. So I'm gonna come over here. So here's flex wrap, I'm gonna copy that, come over here and we're going to paste it like that. And now you can see straight away this has wrapped. Now we need to go into our column settings. I'm gonna come over here to design. So just like how we did before, we need to set this at 100%. So I'm gonna go back to my column settings, design, sizing, and then here we need to set our maximum width at 100%. Okay, great. Now we can go in and give this some specific uh, percentages. So I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna start with the text module. I'm gonna come over here to design, sizing, and I can't remember my width, but I think it was 30. So let's give this 30% like that, and you can see now this is taken on 30%. I'm gonna save that, come over here to this image, design, sizing, and this time this needs to be 68. There we go. So now these are side by side, 
And now let's take a look here and see if this is the same. And sure enough, it's pretty much the same. We have the image at 70% and this is at 30%, just like that. But of course, if we save here, we're going to get a bit more space so that we can see that it's pretty much the same layout. Okay, now let's say I want to make some changes to this when it comes to the um, tablet view. I'm gonna click here. And just like how we did before, we need to change the sizes of the, the, the image and also the text. So we're gonna go in and activate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Go into my image, design, come over here to sizing, set this to 100%, save that, come over here to the text. Then we're gonna go to design, sizing, set this to 100%. So this is going to ensure that when I uh, go to my tablet view, they are going to be taking the complete space, the top and the bottom, ensuring that we have the perfect size if we are using wrapping. Now, this gets even more complicated when we are doing like specific settings. Now, let me show you what I mean. So in Elemental here, I can go in and add my specifics here. So let's say self-align. I can align this to the start and then this just goes to the top and that's pretty much straight forward. Now, if I wanted to achieve this in Divi, I would need to go in, copy the code here, flex top, and then I'll come over here and go into my text module by coming like that, go into the advanced, custom CSS, main element, then I'll paste it in here to achieve that. So overall, I'm sure you can agree with me that at the moment, the way to use Flexbox on Divi is a bit more cumbersome. There's way more clicks, but in Elementor, since this is integrated already, this is a much, much better way of uh, using Flexbox. And you may be asking why use Flexbox? Well, right now I'm just scraping the surface. I mean, Flexbox allows you to create much more advanced layouts and it makes your website fast because we're doing away with all these columns that we use to design websites before. In fact, designing your websites using your columns, it, I mean, adds a lot of code onto your uh, pages and it makes your website slow. So this is the way forward. Flexbox is the way forward. So at the moment, this is how it stands. And hands down, Elementor has the best way of using Flexbox right now if you are a beginner. But of course, I have both affiliate links in the video description below. If you still prefer Divi, the link is that in the video description below. But if you like Elemento, again, the link to that is in the video description below. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. I need to know your thoughts, so leave them in the video description below. Take care.